charms, pose today. But again, if this isn't comfortable, okay, so if bringing your knees back, especially the first pose of the morning, if this isn't comfortable here to be in this position, then you can come up to puppy pose by just bringing your four, uh, forearms down and your forehead to the floor and be here. So you choose what works for you. And again, if either of these two poses are comfortable, then just come into a comfortable seat. So we're just going to settle in here. If your forehead is on the floor or on top of your hands resting, you can always rock that head from side to side. Get a nice massage into that third eye, stimulating. Also great for the sciences. As you breathe in, feeling the back of the body expand. And as you breathe out, I want you to imagine that you've almost got somebody stretching your back. So gently stretching your shoulders and your head a bit closer towards the ground. Stretching back with their other hand towards your tailbone. So if you've ever in a class with me where you've had a child's pose or an extended child's pose. Um, touch from me, so a little bit of awareness there through the hands, and that's what we're trying to achieve. It's just creating that legs in the spine, that adjustment. And then I want you to take five conscious breaths here. May our practice help us to unwind, relax and energize. Inhale when you're ready, looking forward towards the hands, reaching with the hands. If the hips are already up, that's fine. We're going to walk the hips back. And if your seat can come over on to all fours, bringing the hands further out in front from the shoulders, stretch through those fingers, curl the toes under. Just push back into the feet, first of all, so you can really connect to those toes. Nice little bit of a stretch the feet, get a bit of movement in through the neck, and then from here we're going to peel ourselves up, peel the hips up nice and tall into a downward dog. And again, because this is the first downward dog, just take some movement in here, some organic movement that feels right in your body, so you can be bending one leg and the other. Almost dropping that knee down, getting that stretch into each side of the body. Full conscious breaths. On your next exhale, just grounding down through the hips. Maybe even just lifting the fingertips off the floor for a moment and then replant those tips. So you're really starting to have that awareness through the fingertips. You can have soft knees here, head gently hanging in the space of the upper arms. And on your next exhale, lowering the knees down to the floor. Notice this adjustment in the hands when you come down to the floor. So just trying to release off the wrists Inhale, roll those shoulders back and open up through the chest into our cow pose, dropping that tummy down. Take a breath here. 
full conscious breathing. Exhale, shifting back, tucking chin into our down dog. So if you're at the class last night, we did this a couple of times. On your next exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale into our cow pose. Exhale, rounding through the spine, lifting the knees, lifting the hips, coming into dog. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees. Into cow. Exhale, round and through. Two more with your breath. Just move, find that gentle flow. And then the next time you come into down dog, stay in down dog. One breath here. Using that out breath to release. Bend the knees, look forward towards the front. Make your way to the front, coming into our forward fold. Release the hands. In this forward fold, bend the knees. Start to take some circles with the wrist. You can even bring your thumb. Put the opposite hand into the palm and just start stretching through, taking some stretches here through the wrist, taking them the other way. Full breath. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, soften. Rolling back down. Tucking the chin into the chest, hands on top of the feet. Soft knees, inhale gently rolling all the way up, coming into mountain. Take a moment here. Again, just get some movement into those wrists. Really important that we look after them. And then again, just come to stillness, taking a breath. Notice the connection of the feet on the floor. Inhale, take the arms up. So just gently reaching up past the ears, above the head. Exhale, soften through the knees. Really start to bend as you bring your hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Your choice. By the shins, thighs, maybe behind you or hands on the floor, exhale, lower and down. Hands come down to the floor, we're just gonna set the left foot back, lowering left knee to the ground, come onto the top of that left foot. Inhale, come up off the fingertips, hands come onto the right thigh here, and just allow your hips to drop down, okay? So for some, this might be enough, you might have a bit more sort of movement here, a bit more flexibility here, feeling that stretch, navel draws in. So we're not sort of totally just releasing and letting everything go. There is a bit of containment here. Full breath, looking after that lower back by focusing on the tummy muscles, drawing them back. Inhale, lifting the hips, so we're shifting back. Coming into this half split, you might want to wiggle that front leg forward just a little bit, then bringing the toes towards your face as you fold over to the flex and through that right foot, coming into our half split stretch. Just warming up through the body, getting this movement in in a mindful way. Slowly rolling forward with that leg. Hands come down to the floor, stepping that left foot or lifting that left knee, sorry, off, bringing the right foot back, lower knees down to the ground, coming into the incline, elbows come behind you, chest and chin lowers, hips are high, sliding forwards, come onto the top of the feet, roll up into cobra. You don't have to come high here, you might be down here. 
Exhale, rolling back down. Tucking chin into the chest, rolling through, pushing it up on the knees. Curl the toes under, lift those hips. So imagine it's just like a rolling motion from cobra to downward dog. So you get that movement through the spine. Take a breath and down dog. Then bend the knees, looking forwards, stepping forwards, maybe one, two, maybe a few, baby steps up, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, hands come down to the floor, bend the knees, step the right foot back. Lower right knee down, come onto the top of that right foot, and repeating on this side. So inhale, start to lift up. So you have this awareness here first, and then drop the hips down. So depending on how it feels on this side, it can feel very different. Great stretch from the front, that right thigh, and also into the hip here. Just take another breath. Hands come down, frame that foot. May push that foot forward slightly, wiggling the toes, and then inhale, rolling the hips back. So my hips aren't coming all the way back towards that back foot. The hips are stacked, and then folding over that left leg. Left toes flexed towards the face, taking a breath. On your next inhale, rolling forward with that foot. Hands come down, framing the foot, lift that back leg. And then step the left foot back, coming into plank, lower the knees, kneeling. Elbows come behind you, chest and chin down, hips are high. Then slide forward, take the feet behind you. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back down. Inhale, rolling through the spine, curl the toes under, taking it back into downward dog. Take a breath here. Bend the knees, look forward towards the front, make your way up, forward fold. Releasing through the head. Soften through the knees, inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Just take a breath here. Notice how you feel. And then we're going to start to flow. So we're just going to go through Sun Salutation B here. Okay? So we're going to start to build a little bit of strength before moving on. <laughs> so for me, I quite like to have my feet together in. Um, some salutation be just because I feel like I have a bit more containment in the chair pose, but feel free if you want your feet a little bit wider and have a wider base, then go through there. So inhale, lengthen, take the arms all the way up, navel draws back. As you exhale, start to bend the knees like you're coming to sit in a seat, navel draws in. Exhale, folding forwards. Hands come down to the floor, lengthen through the legs, crown of the head shining down to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, softly through the feet. Hands come down, step both feet back, coming into our downward dog. Take a breath here. Your left foot is going to step forward slightly, so literally about half a foot. Left toes turn out, step the right foot forward, and then we're going to come into warrior one. Inhale, rip down through the feet, take the arms up. Full breath. Exhale, hands come 
back down to the floor. Step the left foot back first, then the right coming into plank. Either lower the knees or full plank lower all the way down to the floor. Chaturanga into up dog or cobra. Exhale, flowing back down. Inhale, either through plank or kneeling. Exhale, downward dog. Take one breath. And then we're going to repeat on the right side. So your right foot steps forward just slightly. Right toes shining off the mat. Step the left foot up. Hands sweep out left to right. Inhale, push through those feet. Hips shining forwards. Exhale, hands come back down. Step that right foot back. Step the left foot back. And again, flow through your vinyasa. Cobra or up dog. Meeting back and downward dog. And downward dog will take three breaths. Bend in the knees. You need to stretch through the lower back and the shoulders. Paying particular attention to the index finger and thumb, drawing through those fingertips. Bend the knees, look forward, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, bend the knees, hands come out in front on the inhale, keeping the hips low, coming back to our chair pose. Ukatasana. On your next inhale, reaching up through your arms, straight through the legs. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do two more of those. So we're going to start to flow through. Soften through the knees. Inhale, reach with the arms, take the arms up. Exhale, bending, sitting down. Ukatasana, navel draws up on your next exhale, folding forward, hands come to the floor straight and through the legs, tucking that head in. Inhale, let the navel fingertips down the floor, halfway lift. Exhale, folding down. Stepping back, both feet coming into downward dog. So sometimes there's variations here, you go through a vinyasa first, and then when you're arriving down dog, there's different ways to do this. From down dog, we're going to step that left foot forward slightly, turn the toes out, then step that right foot up between the hands. Inhale, root down, warrior one. Strong. Maybe you start to lean back slightly here. Exhale, folding forwards. Frame that foot, step the left foot back, right foot back, vinyasa. Either knees. Or full plank, chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Exhale, shifting back, downward dog. Inhale here. Exhale fully. Right foot steps forward slightly, toes shine off. Left foot up between the hands. Root down through those feet. Inhale, strong. Exhale, bring those fingertips down, set the right foot back, left foot back, moving through a vinyasa. Make it your own as we'll come back into our downward dog. And here again, we take three breaths. Next inhale, bend the knees, looking forward, stepping forwards, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, take that length, that space. Exhale to soften. Bend the knees, sink those hips down. Arms shine forward, up and back, navel draws in, lifting up slightly. Full breath 
On your next inhale, straight through your legs. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to move straight back in. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bending down your kutasana, navel draws in, tailbone tucks under. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lengthen through the legs. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Plant the hands, step one foot, step the other, come straight into downward dog. Feel that stretch. You can pedal the feet here if you need to, so you can get some movement. Left foot's going to step in slightly, right foot between the hands, anchor down. Inhale, use that strength in your legs, reaching up, embrace. Exhale. Cascading those arms all the way back down. Step that left foot back, right foot back. Slow. Either to knees, chaturanga, or down. Cobra or up dog. Getting some gentle fluidity in the movement. So really finding a way to move with your body. Take a breath into your riding down dog. Going to the other side, right foot steps forward and out slightly, left foot between the hands. Inhale, root down, reaching up, maybe more back. Exhale, hands come down. How does it feel to move your body with the breath? Go through a vinyasa here. Embrace it, really feel that movement. Exhale, down the dog. Three breaths. On your last exhale, slowly lower the knees down. Hopefully not your last ever exhale. <laughs> I haven't killed you off. Okay, bring in the knees back. Hips back, coming into a child's pose. You can keep your legs together, folding here. If you're feeling a little bit warm and you want that space, take the feet wide again, arms out in front. We're going to take five breaths. So really allowing you to reap the rewards from your practice. Allowing you to soften here. It's amazing how we can just move and flow with the breath, getting our body to move, finding our own way through the poses. Take one more breath here. And slowly peeling yourself up onto all fours. Inhale into cow. Exhale, rounding the back into our cat pose. Four more of these. Next time you move through, we're going to meet back into tabletop position. And we're just going to send the left foot up. So coming into like a tiger pose is sometimes called a case. The left foot in, or the left foot is reaching up. Our body is still pushing away. Navel draws in. And we're just going to start to create some circles with this left knee. Don't worry if you feel like 
wondering if they're doing it right or not. Literally, we're just lifting that left leg out to the side while maintaining this balance with the left and right hand and the right knee and that right foot. Switch the circles, take them the other way. It's amazing how different that can feel using a different set of muscles. And then releasing, bringing the left knee down to the ground. Shift your weight slightly towards the left, evenly through the hands. Take a breath. Lifting right leg up behind you. Find your foundation here first, and then start to create those circles. It doesn't matter which way you go first of all, as well as switch. Try to keep that navel drawn in towards the spine. So you have this support, this awareness in the lower back. If it's too much in the hands, you can come onto fists here. Or roll up the mat, reverse the circle. And then release right knee down. Shift the hips back just a moment, circle those wrists. So you can bring your thumb into your palm with your fingers wrapping around the top of your hand, just gently stretching the wrist down. So you're just using the opposite hand just to pull. So we spend a lot of the time in this flexed position with our wrist. I'm just trying to extend it, just stretching through this space. Same with the other hand. Just take a moment to stretch. Take some circles here with the wrist. And then we're coming back down onto all fours. Okay, planting the hands. From here, lifting left foot, reach it behind you, like you're trying to push it into a wall so the toes start to turn down. The minute I do that, I tend to sort of drop through here. I lose this awareness, so I want to try and lift up through the front of my body. Right hand reaching forward. We've done these many times. If you need to turn your fingers out on that left hand, you can. So don't worry about necessarily facing forward. You can turn the hand out. We're going to exhale round through. Right knee, uh, left knee, right elbow to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bending through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze, lovely. Two more. Last one. Inhale, lengthen through both arms. So, sorry, through right arm and left leg, so through both sides. And then you're going to bring your right hand behind you, bend your left knee, holding on to your left foot with that right hand. Inhale, lifting. So I'm holding on to the inside of that foot. You can switch, rotate that shoulder and hold on to the top of the foot from the outside. Take a breath. Really stretching. Maybe you can lift that knee a little bit higher. Exhale, release. Left knee comes down. Shift the hips back, rolling through the spine. Drop the head down towards the floor. Full breath. Circle the wrists here as well. If you need to. Okay, inhale, coming back up. Going on to the other side. Anchor down through that left foot to have that stability, that stability in the right hand, so that diagonal strength. Inhale, reach back with the right foot like you're pushing into the wall behind you, reaching with the left hand. Tap into your core, find that balance. Exhale, knee and elbow come in to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Keep the gaze down 
to the floor, to your mat. You don't have to look up. If you want to, you can start to reach, but I prefer to keep the gaze down. Just looks after my neck a little bit more. Inhaling, reach. Exhaling to wrap. Let's do one more. Reach, keep that reach, bend that right knee, then swim that left arm all the way back, find that right foot, push away from the floor, and then push that right foot into your left hand. Start to open up here, start to gaze up slightly, and exhale, left hand down, right knee down, shift back, Take a child's pose. Find your breath. You can have a little bit of sway on your lower back. A little bit of movement here. Inhale, coming up. To all fours. Take the knees just a little bit wider, hands a little bit wider. Inhale, drop the tummy, coming into a wide cow, and rolling back into a cat pose. Four more. So just get this movement, a bit more space in the body. When you come back into your cat pose, push away, coming into a wide downward facing dog. You can even take the feet even wider, as wide as your mat, hands as wide as the mat. You can bend your knees here. I always think this is like a, a bit like a frog pose here. Just really stretching through those shoulders. One more breath. Slowly walk the feet back into hips distance. Hands in line with the shoulders. Inhale into plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Come onto the top of the feet. Slide the hands back in line with the ribs. Three cobras here. Inhale. Exhale to fold. So you're using that in breath to roll up through the spine, chin tucked in, maybe lifting at that last moment, rolling back down. Last time. Exhale to fold. Bring your hands. Sorry, I'm just wiggling myself back onto my mat. Bit. Bring your hands down by your side palms, touching the ground, forehead on the earth, on your mat, anchor down through the top of the feet. Inhale, lifting the chest, chin off the floor and the hands, reach back. Exhale, lower down. Two more of these. Inhale, reaching back, lifting chest to chin. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, rolling up, holding here, breathing to that belly. Feel the pelvis on the ground, rooting down. Exhale, soften. Bending the left leg, bending the right leg. Maybe you can hold on to the feet. If not, you might be able to hold on to your trousers here to help. Okay, or you can do one leg at a time. If you can wrap round, sometimes we have to lift first to grab hold of the ankles, the feet, and then lower the head back down. Relax through the shoulders. Just take a moment here. Coming into our bow pose, using the body. 
breath moves us. The breath comes first, the movement follows. As we inhale, we start to push our feet into our hands, which then starts to lift our shoulders, and then lifting the chest up off the floor. Take a breath. Bow pose, your expression. You don't have to come too high here. Exhale, soften. Release one foot first, then the other. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. And because the bow is quite a strong back bend, we're going to push all the way up and all the way straight back into a child's pose. Taking the back the other way, that should feel really nice in the lower back. Taking a few breaths in. So you can have your hands facing forward by your side. Full breath. to that lower back. Bringing the hands so they're underneath the shoulders. Pushing yourself up to your, like in this kneeling position, then curl the toes under. We're going to roll back, staying on the toes into this froggy squat here. Take a breath. On an inhale, just coming up to a toe bounce, really good for the feet. So instead of dropping everything down here, just start to have a little bit of a lift through the mullet bunda, okay? So you start to lift up through this pelvic root, through this core, all the way up, navel draws in, ulliella bunda here, so we have these two locks, everything is contained. Exhale, hands come down from here. You're going to push your heels into the floor as you start to straighten through the legs. Release the head down. You can bend and straighten the knees. Take any movement you want here. And then soften through the knees. Hands come to the feet and you're going to slowly roll up coming into our mountain pose. So we are going to come back to the balance and have a sip of water, back to the balance that we did on Wednesday. And that's why we've been focusing on really working into these back bends. So sometimes it's good to just revisit and I'm sure we'll revisit many times. But just coming to this position first of all, Standing in mountain pose. Shift your weight gently over towards the right foot. So without dropping everything down here, we still want this lift through the right side of the body. Just rolling back through the right shoulder. So we do have this containment here. We then start to peel that left foot off the ground. Coming into this one legged stuff, so then you can have your left hand rested here. Your hands can just be placed wherever. Maybe you lift that knee a little bit higher. Your choice. Left hand comes on the inside of that left knee and just start to open up that left knee out towards the left side. So rotate through this hip. Inhale, bring it back through center. Bend that left knee, slide your hand down and back to hold onto your foot. And again, maybe this is where you are today. You stand here, rooting down and just practicing hinging at the hips. Okay, this is enough. This is a balance. So on a way you are, don't feel like you have to always go to the next step. If you want to come into dance pose, you can keep your foot on the outside. I quite like to switch and rotate through this shoulder. Hand at my heart centre, index finger and thumb to touch. Starting to hinge forward with the hips. And as I do, pushing my left foot into my hand, reaching forward 
with my right hand, maybe gazing up, coming into this dance pose. So all this work we can do with the legs and the hips and the back, really starting to open up. Take one more breath here. Exhale, bring it all back in slowly, with control, release, left foot comes down, shake off this right leg first of all, and then just allow yourself to come into a forward fold, so you can reach up your hands if you want to, you can just slowly soften, and just bending through that lower back, you can take the feet a little bit wider, releasing the head, Take a full breath here. Conscious breathing, that's where the change happens. Emotionally and physically. There's so much science to back the benefits of breath work now. So let's use it. Let's make sure we're really utilizing our breath. Slowly rolling back up. Coming on to the other side now. So, again, finding the position with your feet. Feel free if you need to shake out, if you feel like you need to reach the arms up. Okay, it's your practice. So, just really feel what your body needs. Okay? And then we're going to come on to the other side. So, gently shift the weight to the left. Try not to drop everything down, so still having this lift, this awareness through this left hip. So I almost want you to imagine that your femur, that big bone in this leg, okay, the biggest bone in the body, but it's almost rooting down and lifting up. So you do have this length here. Shifting that weight, soften through that left knee and then start to peel that right knee up. So it's from that foundation that we then come into this. Hands can be wherever they can be at the heart. Right hand comes inside of that right knee. And then just start to open it out to the side. So just feeling that. Feel that through the front of the body into these hips that you've been working on. Full breath. Find that brisky, that focus. That's what's going to help you in this pose. Bringing that knee back in and then bending the knee, sliding the hand down to the bottom of that leg by the ankle. And maybe you stay here. If you want to progress to the next stage, you can switch the hand. Left hand at the heart, index finger and thumb come to touch this chin mudra. Inhale, start to lean forward, push that right hand into the um, right foot into the right hand, reaching forward with the left arm, maybe lifting up, maybe that right leg can lift a little bit higher. Taking a breath. Tadasana, rooting down through that left leg. Just like when we're in mountain pose, you have that root, focus, find that dristy. Lovely. Exhale, draw it all back in. Slowly, controlled. Release that right foot down. Shake off the legs. Well done. Excellent. Shaking off. Reach those hands up, take that full stretch. Feet come a little bit wider, maybe as wide as your back. Soften through the knees, folding forwards. So again, we're working on breathing into this lower back, this sacral area. Taking a few breaths here. Walking the feet back in underneath the hips, slowly rolling up, coming back to mountain pose. And just before we move on, just doing some hip circles. So just, you know, the bog standard hip circles that we would have done over the years. Just really start to move through the hips 
used to be in lots of aerobic classes. And so just you can start to lean the chest forward and you can lean back slightly. So the focus is these hips. Okay, is the glutes as well. Reverse the circle, go the other way. So really, really good for hip movement, especially as we get a little bit older. Sometimes we can get a bit static with our walking, we end up quite linear. So just taking these hips around in a circle and then coming back to stillness. Okay, so we've got a little bit of, a um, little bit more work, a little bit of energy before we come down to the ground. Okay, so just bringing your feet a little bit wider, toes turning out. Okay, so we've, We've practiced this star pose that we did the other day where we shifted the weight to one side, okay, and we balanced here, and then we came back down and to the other. We're going to add on a little bit. So you're going to bring your hands to your heart. You're going to squat down. So you might want to turn your toes out a little bit. You're going to squat your hips down, so we're building strength, making sure we're not leaning forward here so we do have this opener through the chest. As we straighten, we're going to shift to one side, take that leg out, arms up. Left foot comes back down, squat. So we literally can move this slow. Inhale, balance, squat. Inhale, balance, squatting down. So you can take a bit more. You can, sometimes when you speed it up a little bit, that balance becomes a little bit easier. I want you to really move mindfully with the breath. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. A few more. It's amazing how shifting the weight to one side, if you really struggle to balance sometimes, okay, it can all be quite a learning curve. This can really help. Your body gets used to shifting, and sometimes when you hold that balance, it gets a little bit harder. But feeling this in your legs now, a few more, building strength. One more each side. Come back to this squat, settle in, take a breath. Full breath, tailbone tucks under. One more breath here, you're doing really, really well. Inhale, strengthen. Turn the feet so they're parallel, hands on the hips. Exhale fully here. Inhale, roll those shoulders back, open up through the spine, through the chest. Exhale. Folding forwards. Release the hands, or you can keep the hands on the hips, really gripping here if you want to. Release the hands down. Your choice, you can take the feet wider if you want to. And then notice if you're sort of shifting our weight back into the hips. It's quite a common thing that we do to just roll forward slightly so you can feel the weight in the toe mounds. Maybe the crown of your head comes to the floor, maybe not. But just take a moment wherever you are. If your hands are on the floor and your head is on the floor, you can, if you want to, you can start to see whether you can take a little bit of a balance here. Your choice, you can bend the knees and lift them coming into like a modified crow. Bringing the feet back down. Or you can just stay here and breathe wherever you are. Lots of strong, mindful movements today. Really manualing, in it now in the end, the movement with the breath. Right hand stays underneath the gaze, underneath the head, 
inhale, take that left arm up, really reaching up towards the ceiling, taking that stretch. Your gaze can look up towards that left hand and maybe out to the side. Sometimes we crunch through the neck to be in this pose, but actually, why cause tension through the neck and shoulders? Well, that's not what it's about. So, just take a few more breaths here. When you're ready, releasing left hand down, replacing the right in, how to take the right arm up. And again, find your position here with the neck. Try not to lean in all the way back into the heels. Exhale, release right hand. Heel, toe, the feet to hips distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold your back down. Hands come to the floor again, lifting the heels, bending the knees, coming back to this toe stand. So from here, which I've done before, if you're on the middle of your mat, you might want to come to the top. So you can be in this toe stand. We're going to trust ourselves. Find that child within and roll back from here. If that's really not in your practice this morning, then really just use your body, that transition to come down onto the ground and we're gonna come onto our backs. So inhale, have that lift. Exhale, rolling down, take the arms back, take the feet up towards the ceiling. Maybe you can touch the feet with your hands. Feel that stretch. And then release. Release the feet to the floor. And just arrive. You keep the knees bent. How do you feel? Wow. Nice energetic practice. So from here, lengthen through that left leg, bring your right knee in towards your chest. A little bit of a squeeze. Full breath. And then, as always, just gently bringing that right knee over towards the left side with the left hand. Right arm out to the right side, just coming into this spinal twist, gazing towards the right side. So, done these many times, so you know what to do here. Use that breath, soften. There will be places that you're holding. Maybe it's in the hands, the fingertips, the shoulders, the face. Just do that quick body check to notice if there's areas that perhaps can do with a little bit more softness. Then rolling back to the centre. Right leg goes long, left leg comes in. Give it a squeeze first, nice little stretch. Circle the foot. And then take it to the other side. Left knee comes across to the right side. Amazing. This side, my arms get really good stretch. I have to get a little bit of a click in my back when I come over to this side. It's amazing how left and right you can definitely tell which is more dominant or which side needs a little bit more strength or ease. A 
going back through center. From here, bring the knees in towards the chest. And we are going to send our hands on the inside of our legs, on the outside of the feet. So we're crossing over, coming back into this happy baby pose, just like we did last night. I really love this pose. I've been doing this quite a lot in my own practice. Really good for the hips, but also lengthening through the spine. I can really feel my spine on the earth here, lengthening in tailbone down towards the front of the mat. And you're gently pulling against your feet and the soles of the feet, almost pushing against your hands to reach up towards the ceiling and the knee dropping down. If this isn't comfortable, you can bring your hands on the inside of the feet so you switch them coming into syrup pose. So it's your choice. You can always do one at a time. Take two breaths here. Slowly releasing the feet down to the floor and coming into a brief Shavasana. So decide whether you would like legs to stay bent or whether you want to reach the legs out, taking up some space. Just notice, I'm not going to talk through the next couple of minutes, but I just want you to really notice your body print on the ground and use your breath to stop. Practice help us to unwind and relax, giving us energy that full balance mind, body, and spirit. Breathing in. Lots of love and kindness to yourself. Breathing out lots of love and kindness to the rest of the world, to one another. Stay where you are if you want to. Or maybe start to get some movement in the body. And then we'll slowly roll over onto one side and come up into a comfortable seat. Bringing our hands to our heart, sealing the deal, ending the week together. Me to you, thank you for choosing to share your time with me. Lots of love. Namaste.